was one of the last classes of the day, and the parents were picking up. And so here's Lucy with the puffy, swollen mm-hmm. eyes and the red face. And so I, I go out to catch yeah, mom at the at the pickup, and I said, hey, you know, this incident happened at the at this last class, but we were able to talk about it and have some resolution. I just wanted to let you know. Um, you know, they're they're driving through traffic all the way from North Austin. We just, we you know, we really wanted a, this school to be a good fit. And okay, we'll we'll talk about it. You know, and I'm just like, okay, all right, we'll see, <laughs> we'll see what they think about this school. The next morning, Dad's dropping off, and I said, hey, how was how was the conversation? Was she able to process a little bit? And he said, yeah, actually, you know, we share our highlights at the dinner table, and Lucy said. Her highlight of the day yesterday was that when she cried and had to talk about something with another classmate, that he didn't get in trouble. Because Mm -hmm. at her last school, see, she's sensitive and would cry when her feelings got hurt and when other classmates at her previous school then would get in trouble. They'd have to stay in from recess. How did that help Lucia? How did that work out for her in her social relationships? Right, right. Right? She was a pariah. She had, she she got teased even more and had such a hard time, right? And would just shut down. was really, that's why her parents were like, we need to find something else. And they, so they said, so that was literally her highlight was that, what she said was, we were able to talk about it. Mm Mm-hmm. That little shift, you know, in the way that we handle, we, we, we prioritize the I- emotional safety, you know, mm-hmm. and that, and supporting that emotional intelligence in all of our learners so that they're, when these things happen, it's not that it's bad and needs a punishment, it's that right. these are learning opportunities and we're, we're teaching how to be more, you know, conscious communicators, how to be more emotionally intelligent and compassionate with each other. And that's the, it's a huge part of the work and right. the, the skills we need for the 21st century. Mm-hmm. This is the Agentic Schools podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world, where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.